Yeah. And because we want you to be successful in the distance relationship, we prepare for you some tips, uh, which is do's and don'ts, what to do in this relationship to make it successful. Exactly. Shall we get into the do's and don'ts? And you know, Anna, I was thinking about this. You know, we're calling it the do's and don'ts, but really, it's more like a recipe of success because these do's and don'ts are critical, right? Yes. They're critical. If you if you don't do the do and you do the don't, <laughs> you're gonna you're probably gonna kill it before it even begins. Do it, number one. Yeah, it's uh, be with your lady in daily communication with her. Be present in her life and uh, show you care by your words. Okay. Um, it, what does it mean exactly? It's uh, you know. Like in real life, yes, when you wake up, you you greet each other, yeah, with a good morning, have a nice day, simple, so, you know, short uh, um, wishes to each other. Find the time, you know, for video call, uh, one time in two, three days, you know, um, because it's like a re real, real relationship, yeah, but be patient. I mean, you know, through distance, it's very easy to broke relationship because of misunderstanding. Sometimes uh, it's real life, you know, some, for example, we have one client, he talked to his lady, a drama happened in her life, her grandmother died and she wasn't in touch with him for four days and uh, he was like, he don't know what to think. She might be not interested anymore in, you know, in relationship, but she was just not in this condition, you know, like she was in very bad mood, you know, don't want to talk. She needs time, you know, to restore herself, you know, from this big stress. And in this situation, um, she didn't actually tell him. He didn't know, he was blind. Yes. Until mm -hmm. four days after no communication, he's like freaking mm -hmm. out what's going on, what happened mm -hmm. to her. And they communicate morning and evening. Um, but it's um, like Anna said, you got to be patient and don't assume the worst. Yes. So everything can happen. You just have to, you know, to to be patient, to understand what's going on. And if it's uh, she's uh, stop communication with you because she really lost interest in developing your relationship or she something happened to her you know so um, how you can see that she's lost interest in you you know to get a lot of messages from her you know or you just get short and she start be don't want you know to make video video call with you it can be like s signal for you, right? Not be very worried if she don't want to reject one time or s two times, even video call. You know, our ladies, they are very worried about how they appear. They even cannot go to the shop to buy bread without makeup, you know, <laughs> usually. <laughs> so she can reject only because she, you know, had <laughs> not not clear... Uh, clean ha hair, clean, yeah. Clean hair. Or yeah. She, <laughs> she doesn't have hair and makeup done, so she say, no, no video <laughs> no, chat. No video, yes. But it's not because she don't want to see you, but she don't want to appear as in front of you, not as, as beauty as she wants, you know. So be patient about those things and uh, don't make fast conclusions about what's going on you know it takes time you know and uh, a lot of uh, patience from both sides you know absolutely great great points anna the point of the do's was have regular communication with her right mm -hmm. um show that you care by your words communicate daily now on the flip side of that it's kind of like don't over communicate and us western men me included yeah i'm an over communicator and most of us guys from america canada from the west we talk too much we over communicate so really that can easily be a relationship killer especially by by sms by texting you know you want to be short in your texting just good morning good night little sweet texts messages okay really messaging or texting or sms is for only the purpose my advice to you is to get on the next video call with her remember like anna just said she need, needs to plan it so we're gonna maybe have a weekly pattern okay we video call on 
on Saturday and on Wednesdays and on Fridays or something like this. Agree. And then she knows when to have her hair and makeup done for the video call. Right? <laughs> Very important. Otherwise, you're going to get a, a no on that. So, yeah, really, I can't emphasize, emphasize this enough, guys. I mean, you know, I will see from clients, uh, you know, their, their messaging. They'll show me, you know, their messaging history and I'll see like a little few messages from her. Like a few words, even, and then a long, big ass message from him. That's classic for us Western guys. Don't do that. You want to basically mirror and match. You want to just, you know, she writes a little bit, a couple emojis. You want to write her that back. Don't write, you know, long philosophical messages because um, it just inevitably leads to misunderstandings. I mean, in the Dale client experience video, you heard him say, uh, the Google Translate faux pas that happened between them and it almost killed their relationship out of the gate. Funny story I'd like to share with you about Google Translate. So January the 19th, there's a tradition here where you dunk your head underwater three times, generally in icy water. I decided to send her a text message asking her questions about it. And what I asked was whether or not you can do it in a warm bath at home because I'm not hopping in cold, ice cold water. And what Google Translate transferred it to is, would you like to bath with me? She perceived me as sending her messages about sex. She presumed I wasn't serious about a relationship. I was just here for one thing. But after the consultation and more chatting, she's been able to realize that no, it was just a miscommunication and we've grown a lot since then and we've got a lot closer. So after this, I realized how valuable the coaching really is with Joe and Anna and the psychologist upstairs on how helpful it is and how much it really does advance and improve your relationship. Without that, the relationship would have been over and I would have been starting again with a whole new lady trying to rebuild the same rapport that I already had with this one. So thank God for the unlimited coaching. I can see it's been a huge part of my success and without it. Ask about uh, her hobbies, interests, you know, to how not her more, if uh, you have uh, enough things in common and uh, even um, you know maybe <laughs> you can plan uh, when you will come do something together <laughs> for example maybe you will find out that found out that uh, you are both interested in in, uh, in learning uh, um, latina dance <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> <You know? laughs> the tango <laughs> Maybe you will become crazy and, you know, offer her to meet her instead of uh, meeting her in Ukraine somewhere in tropical paradise. And it's definitely not a good idea, you know, to set up your first date outside of casual, normal life in Ukraine. Because uh, in future your life will not be consist only from, you know, tropical paradise every day. <laughs> it's, you know, you need to know her in, you know, in your your usual casual life yeah first exactly i did a, a video about don't invite her on a tropical island paradise vacation and why and that video will be in the description below because it's a very important uh, mistake that guys make um it i mean it muddies the waters of discernment that's my big point to you guys if you're going to be splashy so early out of the gate you know you want to always be discerning. You want to make sure that she's into you for you, right? So that's that point. Okay, point number three. Uh, yes. Um, take uh, action to show your care about her. Uh, because you are very far from, you know, and, uh, and physically not with her, but you can take some actions just to show like your <laughs> physically appearance with her. Um, for example, you can from time to time present your flowers and we will add links uh, for the website which is, you know, you can use for... Yeah, a really action. good big website you can use in Ukraine. Yeah, um, it's, it's in, in the description below. Yeah, international mm -hmm. website, yeah. 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 Uh, also, if, uh, you know, if she has children, you can buy some simple toys, you know. Uh, for them, we also, we also, um, it's called the shop called Rosetka. It's very big with delivery at home. Uh, 
you know, just uh, she yeah, can twenty feel, bucks. I mean, fifteen, yeah. twenty dollars. That's all it takes, guys. Not nothing um, expensive or opulent, but it shows that you yeah. care, right? By yes. your actions, Ukrainian women, they don't really go by what you say. It's all talk, and don't drop the love bomb either. Right? That's another one that's not in here. But don't say the L word for a long time push that out as far as you can because they even think you're a bit wingy if you're saying oh i love you you know you're so wonderful if do don't be too splashy with those uh those kind of you know compliments about quick feelings okay it's your actions that she will tell your feelings and your care by your actions is what they look to Okay. Yeah, it's just like a simple attention you can provide with her and which shows you her, which sets feelings that you present in her life, you know. <laughs> yeah, guys, so do not splash opulent gifts, right? No iPhones, iPads, nothing expensive. Again, muddies the waters of discernment. And not only that, worse, if you ask good girls, they don't want an expensive gift. You know, in Ukraine culture, it like obligates them to you for one. Um, they feel obligated. They feel pressured. Um, and it feels to them like you're trying to buy her affections or her love. And good girls don't like that. Gold diggers love it. So if you got a gold digger on the hook, by all means, splash her with anything you want. A new Ferrari you will be much appreciated you know but good girls it's one of the big earmarks of a good girl is she's not asking for anything and she doesn't uh, she's embarrassed to ask for anything um, and she doesn't want expensive gifts yeah the key is that you have to win your heart you know with your personality not with your wallet you know and uh, she have to know you as a person and then to find out if you you know, good uh, match for each other, right? Exactly, well said. Okay, point number four, our magic recipe <laughs> ingredient <laughs> number four. Yeah, it's uh, to understand her uh, values and, uh, okay, her goals in life. And what's, her, what's for her ideal relationship? How, you know, how she see her future family life together with her partner? And to see if you have the same vision. You know, it's important to understand. If you guys see that you're a miss, you know, like if you're a miss, it's very important to not try to fit, you know, a square peg into a round hole, as I say, yeah? um, you know, nip it in the bud, cut that relationship off and, you know, you understand you're not a good match. You're looking for your ideal partner. That's why you need unlimited meetings, unlimited dating. Why? Because that's the optimal way for you to be successful finding somebody that you're just ott happy with you know not settling finding the best the best for you we believe as our matchmaking core philosophy that your ideal perfect half is out there somewhere right and by meeting you know as many ladies as it takes until you find the one that's the only way to find her so it's about finding that ideal match and trust your gut that you will know when you find her. You don't need us to tell you. You will feel it yourself. You will know, right? Yes. Right. And from other side, if you feel both of you guys were born for each other, it means you feel she's an incredible match for you. Don't become crazy and don't make serious steps such as proposal in distance until you see her in real life, you know? <laughs> She'll think you're wingy. If you propose marriage or even talk <laughs> about marriage uh, and you haven't met, <laughs> right? Am I right? <laughs> yeah, she'll think you're a wing nut. You don't want that. Um, yeah, you, you just generally, um, uh, and you're stealing my don'ts again. No, I don't it's know. Just, it's just like <laughs> <laughs> I know. You, you don't want to propose too quickly at all. I had a recent client that proposed on his second trip. Proposed marriage, of course. And guess, guess what happened? I mean, of course, she said no. I mean, she, you know, I mean, who proposes marriage after meeting two times? It, it comes off as desperate. Yeah? I mean, you, what, you're just willing to marry anyone or what? That's how it comes off. That's how it lands on a good girl that doesn't have surreptitious motives. No, she needs to come to the place of 
really knowing you and trusting you. I mean, after all, you're asking her to give up everything. Her family, her parents, which are probably up there and elderly and um, need her help sometimes. Her siblings, her fam, friends, her country language, everything to come to a strange country and be with you. Don't you think that takes some time to earn her trust? Our average time from meet to marriage in the agency is one year, just so you have, you know, some idea. I like how you said before, she needs to package all her life in in one bag and move to your country, you know? And what the level of trust you have to do that, you know? It takes Through time. the roof. Yeah, it takes Oh, yeah. oh, she's crazy and <laughs> can do it fast, <laughs> but it's uh, very rarely to happen. <laughs> <laughs> well, we hope she's not crazy <laughs> and she hopes you're not crazy. Okay, the fifth ingredient to our success formula um, yeah. is... Paint the picture of your life so she sees how she fit your life. And you need to paint a picture of what her life is going to be like with you, right? Mm -hmm. Um, and it's a can be a little bit of a tricky thing um, because on the do not side, because um, that's my role, what not to do, I'm bad cop, do not brag about your stuff, your possessions, your big ass house, your Ferrari, I mean, whatever, you know, just don't paint a picture of, um, you know, your wealth or, you know, your status in life. Don't brag even about your professional accomplishments. It doesn't bode well amongst Ukrainian people. They're a lot more personable than we are in the West. We're more about stuff. We're more materialistic, unfortunately, in the West. They're more family oriented here. It's really, really true. Okay. And it comes off as distasteful if you're bragging. They don't like that. Okay. At the same time, it's important to paint a picture. She needs to feel and really see how her future life will be with you. If you want to attract gold, gold digger, yeah, you can, of course, <laughs> show everything, not only talk, but Yeah, show. show all your photos of your house, your cars, and like a lot of clients do, despite we tell them, don't do that. It's, it's, it, it's almost a virus. It's an American virus. We, we love to brag. I don't know what it is. Unlimited Real Connections is all about um, taking advantage of this opportunity that is knocking right now. The problem is we're all in lockdown, lonely at home, all right? That's you, that's her, and that's the opportunity, as Albert said, you know. So for this, we have created Unlimited Real Connections. It just means you start the relationship now from the comfort of your own home on Skype, WhatsApp, FaceTime, whatever you want. Begin the relationship now and then when the smoke clears on Corona, get your butt to Ukraine and finish what you started. Unlimited connections from abroad right now. Meet an unlimited number of our ladies from our Match Guarantee Instagram channel. And you know, if you just keep dating, you will find the one. Be confident in that. And then when you come, if you have a great connection, chemistry, Great, you found you later. If not, you keep dating uh, in person here in Kiev and meet an unlimited number of ladies in person. It's a one-year package. It's two grand. Includes your private matchmaker when you're here, uh, your private uh, personal concierge. Hello, my name is Igor. Welcome to Ukraine. I will be your personal concierge. We pick you up at the airport in Bearspool. Okay, and we drop you off back there. Mm -hmm. And that package is all included. Uh, six days, including your hotel. Really, this is a smoking deal. It is our way of saying, hey, let turn lemon into lemonade. Mm -hmm. Okay, any final words, Anna? Oh. Mm, I just uh, wish to all of us fashion and... Uh, <laughs> I still believe that um, love is the main thing in the world and it's calling to save it. <laughs> and our you know, wise behavior in this situation uh, will help all of us to overcome you know, this pretty hard time. So, mm, be in touch 
with you and we are open to you know to help you in, in this journey with this new condition and you're very, very welcome to us okay. so if you want to take us up on this remember it's always a free test drive at match guarantee no commitment whatsoever until you feel you should feel in your gut this is right for you if you don't feel it don't do it that's the best advice anyone can give you get a free test drive just go register match guarantee with a y.com forward slash register or go to the top uh, of the home page on the right there click the sign up button and fill out the uh, fill out the application there you uh, book your matchmaking consultation with our matchmaker of our Instagram ladies and uh, she listens to exactly what you listen to gives you very sage advice and if she feels that we can help you right she will accept you as a client and um, you get a free Skype call this is what it looks like and you will feel that you have a connection with her and um, that will help you with your decision to become a client or not totally up to you so we hope to see you guys soon in kiev when the smoke clears on corona and a very big thank you for you that you were today with us and uh, thank you for your attention and keep calm <laughs> you can always call us right you can email us and we look forward to helping you guys find your half here in ukraine bye for now bye. stay safe bye bye, -bye. Have you been searching for a beautiful wife? Do you dream of meeting the perfect woman, but haven't found her? Well, imagine if there was a simple way this could all change for you. Imagine if there was a Canadian marriage agency that would introduce you to as many beautiful women as it takes until you find the one, Ukraine a lost world of beautiful traditional women. At last, a place where you can find the beautiful wife you have always dreamed of. Every Ukrainian woman dreams of having a happy family. Now you can have a traditional beautiful wife from Ukraine, creating happy family memories forever. So what are you waiting for? Register right now and Skype our beautiful ladies completely free. So what makes us different, you might ask? Why not ask Google simply by searching Match Guarantee Reviews.